Please. Order, please. Can you please take your seats again? Order. Chief Minister now has 15 minutes for your closing remarks. Hmm, thank you very much. Just now, my learned opponent mentioned whether a person is fit for a leader. Fit to be a leader. Siapa yang layak jadi seorang pemimpin. Dan beliau telah membuat beberapa tuduhan secara pribadi. Saya tak berminat untuk membuat tuduhan pribadi. Kalau beliau nak syok sendiri, beliau biarlah beliau syok sendiri. Beberapa perkara yang harus dijawab. Bahawa Malaysia, bahawa Pulau Pinang hanya dapat menarik pelaburan yang terbesar hasil daripada usaha kerajaan besar. Ini saya sudah dengar banyak kali. Tapi saya nak tanya, mengapakah semasa Barisan Nasional memerintah Pulau Pinang selama 40 tahun, tak pernah satu tahun menjadi nombor satu dalam pelaburan? Mengapa kena tunggu Pakatan Rakyat memerintah selepas 2008 Baru Pulau Pinang boleh jadi nombor satu dalam pelaburan Bukan sekali, tapi dua kali And do you know that Penang is now listed by ECA International As the most livable city in Malaysia Even beating Kuala Lumpur We did that for the first time in history in 2011 to prove that it was no fluke but a fact we repeated it this year Penang the most livable city in Malaysia you come to our Georgetown festival even international newspapers have written the hippest town in Malaysia where where I am in Mung Sin Pui Chai Si Ping Chiu La fit to be a leader I think that question should be answered by our Prime Minister, Tan Sri Najib. Saya harap Perdana Menteri buktikan kepada rakyat Malaysia, anda memang layak menjadi Perdana Menteri. Jangan lari, jangan sembunyi, berbahas dengan Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Dato Sri Anwar cakap, Boleh bagi you 10 minit, saya angkat 3 minit cukup. Wah, bagi handicap pun tak, mahu, tak berani kah? No cost housing. Memang, saya tidak bersetuju bila cakap kerajaan negeri tak pena rumah kos rendah. Saya nak tanya, kerajaan pusat pun tak pena rumah kos rendah. Kerajaan pusat membina kos rumah ber melalui syarikat perumahan negara berhad. Bukan secara langsung oleh kerajaan pusat Kerajaan negeri pun serupa Order, please. Kita membina rumah kos rendah melalui PDC Daripada 2008 hingga 2000 hingga sekarang Kita sudah bina 3000 unit Saya tahu tak cukup Tetapi kita kena kumpulkan wang Dan kita telah kumpulkan wang sebanyak 500 juta ringgit Dan bercadang membina 18,000 unit rumah mampu milik Tender terbuka Wah cakap kita tak ada tender terbuka Sebenarnya tak saya tak salahkan pihak MCA dan Barisan Nasional Sungguh pun kita buat tender terbuka Dia pasti cakap kita tak buat tender terbuka Memanglah mereka tak buat tender terbuka Macam mana boleh faham apa itu tender terbuka Tender terbuka kena buat iklan di Surakarta. Tender ke Uber terbuka mesti pilih harga yang paling baik, kualiti yang paling baik, pengurusan yang bertaraf antarabangsa. Tapi itu Barisan Nasional tak faham kerana mereka hanya bagi kepada abang adik kroni mereka. Di Pulau Pinang, kita semua buat tender terbuka. Bukan sahaja kita iklankan di Surakarta Bahasa Melayu dan Bahasa Inggeris. Kita pun iklan di bahasa Cina juga Sebut tentang kita punya Talk about our debts Talk about surplus I think you should read The financial reports Since you claim to know a lot about Talam 
even though it is double counting, you still say one billion. Never mind lah. Let let this be settled in court. When we talk about the state debt, six hundred million ringgit deduction. You said that was transferred to the federal government. Yes, because we drove a hard bargain. We drove a hard bargain for the interest of the people of Penang. If that is so easily done, why is it under Barisan National? You could not do it, but have to wait until Pakatan Raya take over, and then we reduce the Penang State Government's debts. Everything got to wait for us to do, lah. When they are in power, they do nothing, lah. Only approve huge projects they got, lah. Huge projects, wah, well, of course. We know who owns the star. Who owns the star? Ah, siapa lagi? Of course, they will paint a false picture. First, they say dying hills. Now they say crying hills. Dying hills now crying hills. I think with the lies the MCA spread, it will end up to be sex, lies, and the hills lah. Now this is the problem. When you want to whitewash the sins of the previous government in approving all projects above 250 feet, the state government under Pakatan Rakyat, we did not approve a single project. We have to deal with what the rubbish that we inherited from the previous state government, and we are doing so. We have said, if we want to have an engagement, direct engagement, I call upon. Your subordinate, Dr. Sri Wong Chun Wai, who writes about the hills in Greek, come, let us have a direct dialogue. We will. We have nothing to hide. We can declassify the minutes. Let us have a direct dialogue. If you dare, Wong Chun Wai, come, I will wait for you. We talk about the freedom of the press. The freedom of the press does not give you the freedom to lie, because you are controlled by Barisan National. We only ask that if you print any lies, give us the right of reply. But when you refuse to give us the right of reply, our only choice is to sue. But how many times can we sue? We cannot sue every day. We sue Utusan Malaysia, and of course MCA now defends Utusan Malaysia. Taknya kepada MCA lah. My friends, no longer can we accept the abuse of power under Malaysian nation. That led to Malaysians dying in custody, such as Tio Beng Hock, Abak Sabani, and A Kugan. We must have the IPSC MC. No longer can we allow our women folk to walk the streets and park their cars in fear. We should put more policemen on patrol instead of using them to monitor Pakatan Raya leaders. No longer can we accept a policy of putting profits before the people's health. Let us change to close down the Linus Red Earth plant in Kuantan and stop the building of nuclear reactors proposed by Barisan National. No longer should Sabahans be strangers in their own land. With illegal immigrants getting citizenship, let us have a royal commission of inquiry to weed out these illegal citizens. No longer should Sabahans and Sarawakians be denied the right to their natural resources by being given royalties of only five percent. Let us give them their rightful share, increased from five percent to twenty percent. No longer should vernacular schools be marginalised. We have a right to adequate funding for mother tongue education, and also the right to set up independent Chinese schools, the way that the government allows international schools to be set up. No longer can we accept a slow broadband service. Let us have a proper broadband and free Wi-Fi in public places like in Penang. No longer can we accept the cynical manipulation and division of the people by race and religion. When we should be united by the principles of justice, freedom, integrity, and democracy. 
Let us not bully the minority races. Let us ensure a minority Malaysian, such as Berse Co Chairman Dato Ambiga, is not hounded and persecuted, and people even want to hang her just because she's an Indian, a Hindu, and woman. We condemn that totally. My fellow Malaysians, it is time that we don't live in our past that is filled with hatred and fear. We should look to the future filled with hope and harmony between all Malaysians. To put the past behind us, we must stop the politics of race and religion. To put the past behind us, we must end corruption. To put the past behind us, we must abolish the suppression, oppression, and repression of our basic human rights. To put the past behind, behind us, we must demand, demand good and clean governance from our ministers. How have our ministers performed? The tourism ministry spends 1.8 million ringgit on Facebook, even though it's free. The health ministry. How can the health ministry assure affordable health care? when they allow middlemen to order drugs and make profits and not direct from the manufacturers even though these manufacturers are based in Malaysia you order straight from them you can get it cheaper and better quality are you not denying the basic right of Malaysians for affordable health care and the housing ministry my friend here the housing and local government ministry opposes local government elections. Where is our democratic right to elect our local councillors and our mayors? We want local government elections. And finally, our transport ministry. You look at the way the airports and the ports are run. More attention paid on car numbers, especially WWW number 15. The time has come for us to change. The time has come for Malaysians to boldly stand up for Uber. We must improve the economic life. Kita harus memperbaiki keadaan ekonomi orang-orang miskin. 60% daripada rakyat Malaysia mendapat pendapatan kurang daripada rm ringgit sebulan. Tak cukup. Kita mau ia dinaikkan. Dan hanya pakatan rakyat yang boleh memperbaiki keadaan ekonomi golongan miskin 60% daripada rakyat Malaysia. Jangan cakap ini tak boleh dilakukan. Tengok Korea Selatan Sekarang Korea Selatan begitu maju Dulu Korea Selatan Selalu kalah kepada Malaysia Dalam bola sepak Sekarang Malaysia tak tahu turun bagaimana Korea Selatan sekarang Selalu main dekat World Cup Dulu Korea Selatan Lagi miskin dari Malaysia Dia punya GMP per capita Hanya 260 US dollar Malaysia pada tahun 1970 380 US dollar lagi baik daripada Korea Selatan tapi sekarang Korea Selatan punya GMP per capita 20,000 US dollar sekali ganda lebih besar daripada Malaysia mengapa anak-anak kita sekarang semua ikut K-pop dengar lagu Korea Selatan kerana di Korea Selatan mereka buat pemilihan yang betul mereka pilih demokrasi mereka pilih prestasi baik minute, daripada eh? Pemimpin mereka dan yang penting sekali mereka memilih kebebasan Peluang yang sama kepada semua rakyat Tak payah bergantung kepada kabel politik lagi Kita hanya perlu bergantung kepada kabel internet Dah cukup untuk kita maju Only when we free ourselves from fear of change Can we be free to BN cannot change. They need to be changed for BN wants to rule by fear. We know 
that if we wipe out corruption, BN will die. But if we do not wipe out corruption, Malaysia will die. So the choice is very clear. As Sir Thomas Jefferson said, we must not fear. When the governments fear the people, there is liberty. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. The choice is clear, my friends. Do you want to choose tyranny or liberty? That is why we chose Uber. We want liberty. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have some order? Please, order, please. Order. Order, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of this debate and we have heard very eloquent presentations from both the debaters, the president of MCA at the street of the Chua Sai Lake, and the chief minister Penang, Lim Guan Yi. I would like to thank both of them for your presence with us this afternoon to address us and to be engaged in this historic debate. Let me also thank the panelists for your participation here.